Andalusia. We say and imagine a lot about South of Spain. Usually, and what I heard the most is, this is the best region to visit in Spain, or you'll see, you will be mesmerized by its culture and its heritage. I only visited Madrid and Barcelona in Spain, and I feel like this will be very much different. First of all, because this is a journey we are taking with Noeco during five weeks. So a lot of time to explore and also to really connect with this land that reaches out to us. This road trip will be divided into several episodes because as you guessed, there is a lot to cover. So better to split up for you and also for me when I will be editing. This is our itinerary. First, we will head southeast to Cabo de Gata Natural Park, go up a little bit to reach Granada, then from Malaga we'll enter to the White Villages Zone, follow the coast until Cadiz, and finally, we will take a loop and travel back to our homes. Let's put some numbers on this trip. More than 4,500 kilometers of road, visiting the five most important towns, six incredible natural parks, and dozens of charming villages. Are you all ready to an incredible trip to Andalusia? I can't hear you, but you sound all excited. Let's go! Our first stop after a pretty long drive is the Cabo de Gata Nihar Natural Park. We just arrived, but I'm already in love with it. Wait, what is that? Classified as a natural park, it is normally impossible to build anything concrete on this 50 kilometers coastline. They are nevertheless promoters who illegally build this hotel on the beach of Algarrobico. Greenpeace and other NGO have protested against it and it was supposed to be demolished in 2012. We just made a stop in order to see it with our own eyes and I'm pretty shocked by it actually. Question is, how could they during all this time, on purpose, could have built this? I mean, no one stopped them before it reached this height? The worst thing in this story is, it will cost 7 million euros to put it down and the region has to pay for it, which is pretty unfair, don't you think? Fortunately for us in the region, all the rest of the park is free of buildings that are more than two floors. But I think right now isn't the right time to go and visit it. Before we continue our road trip, I just wanted to say what were the odds that it rains in the middle of the desert? Look, this is our first day. <laughs> it's true, this is unusual and rare in this region. Everyone I have met said the same. This is clearly not what I thought about Andalusia. I imagined desert and maximum aridity in the closest region to Africa. But well, not the case today. Let's deal with it and wait for the next day where you'll learn more about the park and see some trails. Next day, here we are. My editing is full of surprise, isn't it? The Cabo de Gata is crisscrossed by 16 marked trails from 1.5 to 11 km long, more or less difficult. Most of them do not make a loop, but the best thing to do is to get a map at the visitor center. The first hike we choose isn't on any map, so I don't know if it is very legal, but well, totally worth it. I used an app called Visio Rondo, which is generally more used by French people in France, but in there you have access to a route which leads to the highest summit of the park. Mount Frail, here we come! Count one hour and a half to reach the top and I warn you, this is really a hot one. I thought about stopping many times, I am not kidding. I could not imagine taking this trail in the afternoon during summer. That was in May and lack of shade and hardness level of the hike will make you sweat, believe me. However, when you reach the top, all your effort will be rewarded shortly after. You will feel relaxed like never before, surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea and small but splendid peaceful villages. Magnificent panoramas await. Remember when 
I said we took a hike that could have been not very permitted? Well, let's go down first and the next one is on the registered map. What a relief! We didn't do the second hike entirely because it takes normally a bit more than half a day, but we started at the village Agua Amarga. That means bitter water. This info is not necessary. However, now you know how to say bitter in Spanish. Amarga. The special thing about this area is that you can swim in a really clear blue water and admire some impressive coves. Two examples that impress me the most are the coves of El Medio and Plomo. En Medio, at first, you would think that someone had come to sculpt its rocks to give them that pleasant look. The cove is surrounded by fossilized dunes that go into the sea and form small pools. This unspoilt cove is considered one of the 10 most beautiful places in Spain by the Repsol Guide. Even the New York Times wrote an article referring to its beauty. And I mean, I would write the same. Just a short distance from El Medio Cove is the Cove of Plomo, a cove of fine sand with ample space and a very pleasant bathing area accessible to vehicles, which makes it more popular than the other. But in our case, in May, the concept of populated didn't exist. It's a great place to relax, sunbath, while enjoying these superb ancient sharp eroded rocks. If you still have the time and would also like to catch sight of something different than the sea, I recommend you to visit villages inside of the park. In the small village of Rodalquilar, up the street, you will find this gold mine. It doesn't look obvious because it's closed, but it served in the set of Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade in 1989. The best part, my best part, is you go around and five minutes from there, you will find an incredible view on the mountain range. Before showing you what I saw up the street, I just want to say traveling is all about exploring, wandering and go a little bit further than you expect. Sometimes, like in Rodalquilar, I don't possibly dream of what I could see. I expect nothing. When you expect nothing and let your adventurous instincts guide you, nothing can thwart your plans and the experience you gain over time will be a goldmine of delight. We are coming to the end of this video. To support the channel, push that subscribe button, comment on anything you like and thank you to have stayed until the end. I let you with the time lapse and some images of our last night in the Cabo de Gata Nihar Natural Park. See you soon to continue our Andalusian road trip. Mm.